Hello, everyone. We are Soft Edge, creators of Hailmaster, a mobile solution that uses artificial intelligence and augmented reality technologies to inspect vehicle hail damage. Today, we are presenting you a brief overview on general settings and customizations in Hailmaster. The Hailmaster application is designed to be highly customizable to support various processes and market specifics in different countries around the world. With the following settings, professionals can tune the application to their needs and set prices and adjustments accordingly. So let's take a look at each setting in detail and we will show you what you can set and how. The first section opens the privacy settings of your smartphone where you can grant access for the app to your photos library, camera and mobile data. Additionally, you can set your preferred language. The damage calculator section contains a list of available calculation matrices. You can choose one from the list and view the current settings along with the ability to edit and add or remove price adjustments. A more detailed overview of how to edit the calculation matrix and price adjustments can be found in the dedicated video tutorial. The cost adjustments library remove and install cost lists are dedicated lists with cost adjustments and RIE operations that you can use for damage cost estimations. Here in the settings, you can edit the C list. A more detailed overview of how to edit the price adjustments can be found in the dedicated video tutorial. The AI module field provides information about the current recognition model version. Our keep dense dense apart setting is used to define whether the app should show dents that are very close to each other as one dent or as separate dents. Automated photo processing is a feature that determines how you want to handle new photos. If this feature is enabled, every time you add a new photo to a case, it will be automatically assigned to the damage zone and the processing user interface will be accessible. However, if the feature is disabled, the new photo will simply be added to the case without automatically opening the processing user interface. The background processing of the photos parameter allows for the processing of each added photo in the background. When a photo is added to the case, a gear icon will appear in the top right corner and in a second, the picture will be recognized. The manual segment function can be turned on to manually specify the segment where the app should recognize the dents. If this parameter is turned off, the application will process the whole picture without the possibility of specifying a segment. The draw segments and preview parameter is responsible for visualizing manual segments on pictures preview in the cases. The marker base perspective parameter specifies whether marker base perspective should be used during the dent size measurement. Turning on this function in most cases improves the accuracy of dent measurement, but it may be turned off in cases when you have pictures with complex perspectives. Dent mark shapes is responsible for visualizing the shapes used for dent marking, which can be either squares or ellipses. Your color scheme for red vehicles parameter can help adjust the visualization of dent marks color scheme for red vehicles to make it easier to read. Uh, if the validate VIN parameter is turned on the app, will check the validity of the VIN during case creation. Similarly, if the validate emails parameters turned on, the app will check the validity of the email during case creation. For users with pro licenses, two additional sections are available. First, the enterprise license section where you can enter your license and key to grant access to the pro version of Hailmaster with customized configurations. Second, the report setting allows you to add your company logo and details that will be printed in the PDF report. The general settings section contains additional information about learning tutorials, what's new in the app, terms that conditions, privacy policy, and open source licenses. In the what's new section, you can find the number of the application version. You can reset the settings responsible for showing you warnings and hints in the app by pressing the reset hints and warnings button. If you previously turned all hints and warnings off, this button will turn them back on. Our application regularly receives new features and updates. It is possible that new settings will be added here in the future. We will update this tutorial regularly with more information. Thank you for your attention. We encourage you to visit our website, www.hillmaster.app, subscribe to our newsletters, and follow us on social media platforms such as X, Facebook, and LinkedIn. If you have any further questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact us. Have a great day.